Annan Brow is your opponent. You get to welcome him to the featherweight division. I think he's got some other featherweight bouts underneath his belt, but we know him more as the bantamweight, as as the bantamweight champion up until about a year and a half ago. Yes, sir. He's been a killer at the bantamweight, or yeah, about the bantamweight and uh, 145 pounds. I like welcoming people. I welcome Marcus Davis coming down from 170 when I was at 155. So me welcoming him and Brow at 145 pounds is uh, it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully he's a little bit healthier. He said that his weight cuts were killing him, this and that. But uh, I think it's a man who's mentally broke you know him coming up here fighting me a knockout artist he's been knocked out twice by a little or a guy who doesn't hit nowhere near as hard as me uh it's going to be a great night i'm looking to go in there and knock him out give the fans what they want and uh and just put it on a great show for everybody you know a lot of people have said the same thing that not only were those losses big for him uh in terms of the physical knockout it's it's a mental thing you know can he overcome that because those you know he lost the belt he, he lost twice to the same guy, and so a lot of his mojo seems to have disappeared. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you know, I can't really rely on that as well. You know, that's you have to play that into a factor. But uh, hopefully, I'm facing a hit and brow. He's hungry, he's motivated, wanting to come in here. Hopefully, he shows up healthy, and hopefully, he just shows up. You know, he's he's pulled out of fights before. You know, and you know, finding a knockout artist when you've been knocked out twice. I imagine he's probably going through a lot of stuff mentally. So. Uh, hopefully it just shows up for the fight because on paper this is going to be a great fight. This is an exciting fight. This is somebody who's actually going to fight me, you know, my fighting style. This plays in uh, perfect for both both of us. So uh, show up in and uh, we'll put on a show for everybody. When you look at your record, you've had more UFC fights than any other organization. That's tough, man, at this level with the beast when you go 1 through 25, 1 through 50 rankings. That's hard to do. But you've been able to do it. How often do you sit back and go, damn, this, this is pretty legit that I'm, I'm still around and still doing this? You know, actually, uh, I used to not like being called a veteran. And uh, it wasn't until probably about I got like to my 19th, 20th fight, you know, that I actually was like, man, you know what, I am a veteran. Mm-hmm. You know, because I, I would see some guys that would fight in UFC. They'd go like 0-2, 2-1, and, and, and they'd get cut. And then you see them at like this local show, and they're like, an UFC veteran. It's like that guy never even won in UFC. How is he a veteran, right. you know? Mm-hmm. So to me, that's that's the kind of way I looked at it, and I was like, man, don't call me a veteran, you know. But uh, now now that I look back, you know, I fought all the top guys at 55. I fought in the top guys at 145 pounds. I'm always like a fight away from being in close to a title shot. It's just all about putting it together and uh, showing up, getting the right fights, getting good 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 styles and good matchmaking. And uh, you know, I love it, man.